So we continue with our discussion on overlay design. This is part two of my lecture on overlay design. And we we'll discuss the second approach that is deflection measurement approach in knowing the overlay thickness of an existing pavement. In a deflection method, uh, as we have discussed previously, we can categorize the merits and demerits in the following manner. It's, it's highly complex. Yeah, since you know we need to require a different approach, the approach is not very simple. Uh, the methodology includes the measurements of deflections to know the strength of an existing pavement in terms of its sub, in terms of its deflections. Uh, the main advantage of this method, it's what we call a mechanistic method. It measures the intrinsic properties of the material instead of determining, you know, using thumb rules of estimating the thickness, the performance of the thickness in terms of some number, you find actually the strength and it, it is not based on the personal observation. It is a standard technique and it's a very good design. Now the problem is again, it's required and sophisticated equipment and the people and the measurement is to be done by an expert and those experts are not very common. So the, these are some of the weakness, but you know, in these days of technologies, all has been catered for. So what you do? Again, here we determine the traffic. We get a deflection data. We calculate representative rebound deflection and we determine the overlay thickness. Uh, so what you do? So in order to find deflection data, we can use two very highly adopted instruments. The Benkelman Dean, abbreviated as BB, and the central deflection of falling weight deflectometer. And if you have the values of falling weight deflectometer, you can always convert it to the uh, Benkelman beam deflection method. So Benkelman deflection is um, the values we take is, you know, the units are mils, that is the one thousandth of an inch. In the falling weight deflectometer, we have a 9,000 pound, maybe a four tons, if you can see another unit, and it's applied on a 12 inch diameter plate. So these are the two methods, although uh, I want to explain how these methods are being conducted, but I feel this 
this content of this presentation, the scope of this presentation uh, limits me in doing so. So we'll only discuss uh, Benkel Mendy method uh, here. And I left, uh, and I will inshallah come up with other slides at the presentation to know how these methods can be adopted and how we use calculate how we extrapolate the values of what following with deflectometer to know the overlay thickness. So here I will limit only to me this Benkelman beam deflection method. Then once you do that, uh, and now by using this Michael Minkman method, you find representative rebound deflection. And this is uh, done by doing the average value, adding two time standard deviations, and multiplying the, by the adjustment factors F and the critical period adjustment factor to know RRD values. Uh, this is, these are the guidelines uh, for a typical curve at where you can find the critical adjustment factor as in required in knowing the RRD and has been used has been you know the factor that is needed to know RRT method. So again this critical period adjustment factor is we want to know how in which type of month in which time of the year season you have measured because every country every place has its own uh, moisture values because of the rain. So this, this graph is uh, how uh, if you take it from S4 Institute. Um, if you're doing this in your country, then obviously you need to first come up with these data. Before I go for the example, let me explain to you. Normally what you do, if you have to say, uh, we have to design an overlay for say five five kilometer section of an highway. So before taking this deflection the method, you have to do this sampling technique. Or in the other word, you have to you know, for every 100 meter of a road, you have at least have one Bengelman beam measurements. Now, again, how to calculate this sample technique is, again, is beyond the scope of this presentation. But uh, inshallah, I will try to come up with this presentation, this sampling technique for my audience as well. So let's let's stick here this data and try to know how you calculate the overlay values using this approach. So for instance, we have taken a falling, we have used Benkelman beam to measure deflection on as for a concrete pavement that at that time the temperature was 14 degrees centigrade. The deflections were uh, measured like 33 mils, 36 inches, 36 mils, 42 mils, 24 mils, 30 mils, 34 mils, 26 mils, 40 mils, 27 mils, and 31 mils. And if you multiply by 0 0.001, that will get the inches as that's been shown in the question. Now what you need to know the 
reflection and subgrade values of this value or in the word you need to know the value of n thickness. So the first step will be no calculate the mean deflection in standard deviation that we always know. So using the data to come up with a deflection of so average deflection so of 0 0.0320 inches and the standard deviation of 0 0.0059 inches. Once you do that, we take the temperature adjustment factor as 1.15 from the graph. And if we don't have any seasonal graph available in the area, it's recommended to take C is equal to 1. So doing this, we'll find delta RRT as 0 0.05037 inches. And once you know that, you can always find overlay using this novo graph as given in the next slide. So this is uh, the factor uh, you can always know from the graph. So I we have taken 1.2. This is we also need to know what is the thickness of one treated aggregate base. Yeah, we assume this as a five inches, uh, seven, uh, seven, eight inches base in this example. The temperature of 14, so that's why you get 1.2. Now, to knowing the thickness, we know that our traffic is 30 million. That was given in the last lecture. So since the graph, we have a curve of 20,000 and 50,000 easels. What I've done, as you know, I've uh, drawn and interpreted myself the 30 million graph as you can show in the blue line. So what you need to know, you have RRD at the x-axis. You know the curve, 30 million, you can find Overlay thickness very easily. So first you draw a graph for 0.05 something that we have calculated, and then from the intersection of this red line and the blue curve, you find this thickness will be around 200 millimeter or eight inches. It can be you know a little tricky sometimes. Um, you can estimate this as a nine inches as well, but uh, this is how you follow this method. So this is it for using the approach or deflection method. Uh, now to summarize my lecture on overlay, we've used two methods, the component analysis method that was very simple but again, it involves the judgment. The, we have used other approach as we have explained in this presentation, the deflection analysis method. It requires non-destructive testing, but it, the you know, personal observation is not very important in this type of method. So again, we if we have this instrument available, it is recommended to go for deflection analysis method, sensing seems to be more accurate. So that's it for my presentation. If you have any question, you can always go log into, you can have always post your query on the comment section, or you can email me directly. Thank you, inshallah, I will come with some, come with some no more presentation next time. Uh, thank you very much. I take you home. Take do care of yourself.